morning. This is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles, and today is July 8th, and day 8 of Christmas in July. And what do you do on your birthday? You go to Starbucks and get your free coffee. Today I got a brown sugar iced um, oat milk. So I'm going to give this a try, and I will talk to you in just a moment. Okay, I am back. <laughs> I was all excited about how cool it was, and it's buggy. <laughs> For my birthday, it's only in the 80 degree area. I'll put up here what that is in Celsius for those in other areas, but I think the high today is going to be 84 degrees. It's usually 104 on my birthday, so that right there is a birthday present. But I also wanted to do a giveaway for my birthday. Uh, so what I came up with is if you are in a country that you get Amazon deliveries to, I'm going, first off, only thing you have to do is put a comment on this video, this particular video that will have birthday gi um, giveaway on it uh, for the day eight. And I will draw, do the drawing. I'll do the drawing on my next episode, which will be probably in about a week, week and a half, um, because I'm still going to do an episode this month. So I will do the drawing then. And comment anything. I don't, um, any kind of a comment will be an entry, only one entry per person. And what you get is if you are in a country that gets Amazon deliveries, then pick, you can pick out a pattern book or a craft book of some kind off of Amazon up to 25 US dollars. Sorry, Shauna and I are texting, arranging um, where to go and do things for today. Uh, didn't know what the weather was gonna be like with Barrel coming in, um, which is the tropical storm hurricane, so. It's been up and down on what today's weather would be like. Okay, so anyways, if you are in a country that does not get Amazon deliveries. Sorry, I got distracted by a butterfly. <laughs> today is definitely an ADD day. <laughs> um, you can pick out a pattern or a few patterns, actually, um, up to $25 worth of as far as if you want to do a bundle of patterns or anything off either Ravelry or Etsy. Or if you have someplace else that you want something for an online digital pattern that I can send you. So that's either a physical book off of Amazon or even a digital one off Amazon um, or digital patterns off Ravelry or Etsy and I will get those sent out to you. So, and so if you, you can either do a punt, one of those um, Ravelry books, or you can um, choose, you know, up to $25 worth. So that's just where I'm capping it, is the 25 US dollars. So I was gonna tell you what happened yesterday. I just did that short video, which took me forever to put together because there were so many segments. But yesterday I drove to a baby shower for one of uh, my nephews and they are visiting from Virginia and him and his wife um, are expecting their first baby. And they happen to be able to come out for their vacation. So uh, family arranged it for now but they were staying in an Airbnb in this little tiny town called Lot. Beautiful place. At the end of a um, ro road, saw lots of cows and everything. I was going to record that part for you, but by the time I was getting there, I was a bit on the frustrated side. <laughs> Not with them, but with Google. Google kept losing um, GPS signal. I don't know if it was just the atmospheric situation. Hold on, big truck going by. Okay, moving truck was going by and turning around at the end of my street. 
apparently they were going the wrong place. It's busy out here this morning. I mean, it's about 10 a.m. on a Monday. Where's there, why isn't everybody at work? I know why I'm not. I'm on vacation. <laughs> well, anyways, I was heading to Lot, Texas, kept losing GPS um, signal, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. And it sent me on a cut across on a rural road. It was a gravel road. And I was having to go past tractors that were trying to pull out their hay, big rolls and everything. And I'm having to share the road with them. And it's a one lane road basically. And what was supposed to take me two hours or two hours and 30 minutes after my little detour at the, um, in West at the check place ended up taking me three hours. I had family calling going, where are you? <laughs> You lost. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Sorry. Okay, Seaver was checking on timing. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> You'd think it was Grand Central Station here this morning. So anyway, where was I? Okay, so I, I get the Airbnb. Beautiful, beautiful place and great place. I mean, they've been staying there probably for about a week and it was a great place to have the um, baby shower. And then on the way back, some of the front from the tropical storm started hitting. So it would be raining a little bit, but I still kept losing GPS signal. But on the way back, I figured there was two roads to get me over to I-35 <laughs> if I went a straighter route that just took me longer. So I did that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm having to use a physical, you know, pull the physical map up and see, see that. I'm having to go back old school, even on my phone. And the whole time I am listening to the book, um, the last one, I put the information on yesterday's video, but it's a locked room thriller. I don't want to tell you anything more than that. It is really well written and I'm listening to it. And of course they're lost. I'm lost. <laughs> Not really, but it felt that way. And then got up to Bucky's and it is, the wind is blowing so hard. The rain is coming down so hard. My umbrella turns up inside out with me trying to get in, in there because I figured that was a good enough place to stop, um, to use the bathroom. And then there was Bucky. I'm such a kid. I'm over there getting my video taken, you know, with all the kids. <laughs> and the adults are all laughing at me and then they're coming and doing it too. <laughs> I am an instigator, <laughs> but I didn't do any recording in there just because I was just trying to get in and out and get back on the road to get home because Sean and the kids were coming in last night and I got back maybe 30 minutes before they got here. But with all that running around and everything, I ended up with a headache, but I did have a great day. I got to see the parents, sisters, um, nephews and everything. So I had, had a great time getting to see them. Told them if I didn't love them, I wouldn't have driven that far for them. <laughs> and last night I just had a headache. I put the video together, did, did that overdubbing, and went to bed. So, that's my story in a nutshell. Today, we're going to go to Log Cabin Village. So, I'll take you along for some of that today with the kids and Seaver and Shauna. And we're probably going to go to a park and just have a, have a fun family day enjoying the cooler weather, but I am probably going to go put a t-shirt on. 
I thought I was going to be able to get away with having my beautiful summery long sleeve cotton top on. Nope, I'm hot already. But nowhere near as hot as I would be if it was 20 degrees warmer, so I am thankful. I've got a few presents in there to open and kolaches from yesterday. I'm going to go warm one of those up for my breakfast and just see where the day takes us. Everyone keeps asking me, what's my plan? What's my plan for my birthday? And I'm like, <clears throat> just see where the day takes me. Oh, if you're wondering what I'm working on here, I'm still going round and round on the body. I haven't really picked it up much lately on this little cute eyelet tee by Drops. I'll put the information down below. I've shown it before, but I do love the neckline on this and the sleeves. That's all that is left to the sleeves is putting an edging on it. And the bottom also has that same edging, just a, a garter edge. Bill sent me some pictures. He's already finished the neckline on that vest that he was steaking. So I'm going to hold off on all of his um, pictures that he took of, of the different steps along the way and how it came out until the um, actual episode. So you'll get to see all of that soon. All right. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you a little later on. childhood the grandkids basically gave me as a present today we had a great time at the park all of us trying our best and not quite climbing this but just wanted to stop in here say good night and see you tomorrow